After months of noisy campaigning by the candidates, the time's fast approaching when Ghana's voters will have their say. More than 13 million are registered to vote on Friday. Incumbent John Dramani Mahama is seeking four more years to build on the legacy of predecessor the late John Atta Mills. But challenger Nana Akufoado says Mahama's time is up. Six other candidates are also running. There was a party atmosphere for the final round on Wednesday, but at times it's been bad-tempered. And there's heavy security ahead of the voting. Ghana's built up a reputation as a peaceful democracy, and its former leader is asking voters to behave. We'll start off calmly, and I hope the whole process, you know, will be done in a very somber and sober manner. And I sincerely hope that uh, the law enforcement agencies will be on the ground in areas especially that uh, might uh, prove to be you know, antagonistic towards one another. And uh, if I believe the situation can be monitored to ensure that the election remains free and fair, then I think, as I keep saying, the result will be acceptable to Ghanaians. Election observers are confident all will go well. We will have a, a peaceful elections and that Ghana uh, will not uh, disappoint Africa, that uh, the good name that we have uh, acquired over a long period of time will be upheld. Polling centers open up at 7 a.m. local time and the results are due 48 hours after they close. In order to avoid a second round, the candidates need more than 50% for an outright win. Adoria Chumba, Accra, Ghana.